Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Marcus Philly, and I'm the founder of Functional Bodybuilding. I write training programs for people all over the world. Today, I'm looking forward to taking you through a simple kettlebell training program. All you need to join me today is to grab two different size kettlebells. I want the first one to feel light and very manageable, something you're very confident with. I chose a 16 kilo, and then grab something that's a little bit heftier, something in the moderate, to heavy range for you, but that you can still perform a variety of exercises with. I'll be using the 24 kilo when we get there. With functional bodybuilding, we like to put together training sessions that really can tackle the full body. I like to break things down into movement patterns. So today, with each of these kettlebells, I'm gonna take you through an exercise that's gonna cover the hinging pattern, that's gonna cover the pressing pattern. We're gonna cover single leg training, and then we're gonna rotate. Let's get into it, follow along. We're gonna do three rounds of each. We're gonna start with 10 single arm swings. I love kettlebells because they allow us to do a lot of unilateral training, which is super important in functional bodybuilding. After those 10 single arm swings, we're gonna to go to a strict press for 10. <clears throat> Something I see a lot when people are doing presses with their kettlebells is using the incorrect rack position. When you get down into this position, the rack, I wanna see a straight forearm, straight wrist. I want your thumb pointed towards your chest. After your 10th, you're gonna step your right foot back. And we're gonna go into a single arm rack split squat. We'll go 10 reps here as well. As I mentioned in functional bodybuilding, unilateral training's so valuable. You get twice the volume of training when you train both sides independent of one another. Plus, you make sure, whew, that was 10. Coming down, moving to the next exercise, which is gonna be the half kneeling, chop, and lift. Whew. This is gonna give us some rotation and a great shoulder isolation workout as well. Whew. Kettlebells have great versatility for dynamic, hinging, swing exercises. Whew. as well as isolation training. The combination of both inside of FBB, functional bodybuilding, is something we use all the time. Okay, balance yourself out. 10 on the other side. After those 10, up into that rack position. 10 reps. Great. Now, step it back. Split squats. For this split squat, we're trying to hit 90 degrees in both knees at the bottom. Dropping your body straight down and straight up. Reinforcing a strong rack position. Building great shoulder endurance and strength in this position. Coming down, back into that chop and lift. Good work, okay. That was one round. We're gonna repeat that. This time we're gonna drop the reps down. We've built up a little bit of fatigue on the front end. The next round is gonna be seven repetitions of each. I'm gonna jump right into it. 
back on my right side and we're swinging with the swing send that kettlebell right between your thighs great seven reps to my press for seven pull that kettlebell down your chest get that thumb towards the chest wrist straight Whew. step that right leg back straight down straight up control with the front leg good drop it down and here we go chop and lift it's okay to have a slight bend to your arms on this exercise when the bell gets down by your hip rotate your chest towards it you'll feel your obliques working you're also going to feel your shoulders and your biceps as you pull that kettlebell up okay seven on the other side and begin seven presses Good. Step that back. Seven split squats. Good. Drop it down to the knee. We're going to do those chops and lifts for seven on the left side. Remembering to twist our torso towards the bell down by the hip great so we did a set of 10 right into a set of seven and we'll finish with a set of four short and sweet keep the reps quality right into it one two three four up one two three four split squat one two three four drop it down chop and lift two three four other side one two three four and press one, two, three, four. Step it back. One, two, three, four. And last four reps. One, two, three, four. Okay. That concludes the lighter kettlebell series with functional bodybuilding we are a big fan and a big proponent of progression progression can look like increasing load increasing reps or increasing the difficulty and the complexity of the movement or the exercise that you're completing so on that last circuit we performed a hinge a press a single leg exercise and then a rotational exercise with the heavier kettlebell these exercises are now going to increase in difficulty if those felt really good to you and these are too challenging you stick to this if you want a progression you want to challenge yourself here are a couple moves that take those same patterns and add a layer of difficulty complexity and skill for the hinge we're going to switch from a swing to a clean and I'm gonna keep the reps down like I said five reps per exercise per round so 
So same idea, start with a hinge and clean two, three, four, five. Push press is the next exercise. So instead of a strict press, we're using our legs. One, two, three, four, five. Next up, we're gonna hold this in the goblet chest position. We're gonna do a Cossack squat. So single leg in the frontal plane. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, next exercise is called a half kneeling windmill. So you gotta support the bell above your shoulder on the same side as the knee that's up. And we're gonna twist down and back up. Twist down, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna take the same exercises through the other side, try and give you some movement cues along the way. For the clean, keep your elbow behind you as you pull up to let that kettlebell rotate into the rack position. For the push press, Drive through your hips, keep your torso vertical. One, two, three, four, five. For the Cossack, try and keep your weight back on your heels as you come down. And for the windmill, as I said before, straight arm on the same side as the bent leg. Come down, back up. You wanna rotate your chest so it's almost pointed up to the ceiling. The hip on the right side is pushing back. All right, that was the workout for today. I showed you three rounds, descending repetitions. The idea there, get a lot of the work done at the beginning before you're fatigued. As you fatigue, lower the reps, allows you to keep moving, take shorter rests. If you're looking for progression inside that same workout, you could mix in any one of these exercises that I just showed you, that's a progression off of these more fundamental foundational skills. Furthermore, you could always pick up the next size kettlebell up. 16 kilos, 24 kilos. Maybe you go to 20. Maybe you regress down to 12. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, today's workout. If you wanna get more functional bodybuilding style workouts that I've written with kettlebells, Check the link in the description below. Get your kettlebell solution from Functional Bodybuilding. Thanks for joining me.